jump. Oh, it scaled even more now. <laughs> Eighteen hundred million. Sweet. <laughs> Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Diablo 3 build video. In this video, I'd like to share with you my Barbarian build on Hardcore Season uh, 23, which can be GR70. By the way, a quick heads up, I'm not a Diablo 3 pro player, so any suggestions, feedback, etc. is always welcome. So let's not waste some time and jump right into it. Alright, so before we proceed, I'm uh, going to give you a little roadmap on how we're going to have this video done. So first, we're going to cover the inventory, all of the gear that I'm using. Then we're going to go navigate to the skills, uh, to the Paragon, and to the Followers build. Because within Season 23, there was uh, an update that followers are, can wear a lot of much stuff, which kind of got me back into Diablo 3. I found it really cool. And in general, I just love Diablo games. I have got thousands of hours in Diablo 2. It was my favorite with my wife. We both love that game. Anyway, uh, come back to the topic. So we're going to cover these four tabs. Then I'm going to show you around within this area right here with some uh, boosts and bonuses that I get. Uh, so you can see the numbers. And afterwards, uh, without me commenting, I'm going to do the uh, Greater Rift 70 run uh, again. So basically, I just just beat it. So this is the build that I've used to uh, to get to um, Rift 70 and beat it. All right, all right. So uh, for the weapons set, this is my holy grail. To be honest, plays the big deal uh, within the build. It's, it gives basically uh, fuel regeneration, and during whirlwind, you gain 45% increased attack uh, speed and movement speed, which is absolutely great. But the most important for me is that it keeps my fury on the tops, so I can whirlwind, and you can you can see, it always keeps my uh, primary resource above 90%, which is great. And the reason for that is because I'm benefit benefiting from uh, Aquila Aquila Crisa. <laughs> broke my broke my tongue, man. Uh, by the way, I am from Ukraine, so sometimes I'm going to mispronounce stuff, so I do apologize about that. So basically what this does, while above 90% primary resources, uh, resource, all damage taken is reduced by 50%. So, I love it. Uh, thanks to it, I stopped dying. And thanks to a skill and another ring, <laughs> basically I can make my, uh, def my defense, as you can see at the moment, it's 68, right? Oh wait, I think it's... Yeah, there we go. It's 30 million, but I can scale this thing to 1700 million, which is great. <laughs> so these are the two swords that you will need in order for the set to work. And by the way, it also solved another problem. I stopped using uh, the Unforgivening, which basically uh, you no longer degrade fury instead you generate two fury per one second but because of that set the fury still does not go down as you can see it's still there it's I'm telling you and by the way I think I'm gonna even change this thing because uh, I also benefit 25% additional damage while we're while near maximum fear oh, I'm near oh, okay I'm good I'm, I'm gonna keep that alright so for my armor set I'm using the uh, wrath of the wastes so uh, I'm using the full set, although I'm looking for a ring which will, will allow me to remove one of them. I'm still going to be playing around. So the next build video you should expect by uh, Greater Rift 100, I assume. Or if I'm going to make any big significant uh, changes and I'm going to be somewhere 85 or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But anyway, uh, so on the attributes, strength, vitality... I, I want more damage, but I got some crappy ones here as well, which kind of sucks. But the best ones would be like resistance, uh, strength is definitely so. There's still a lot of things I need to change, that's for sure. Uh, but yeah, maybe some recommendations on the attributes, by the way. Uh, yeah, because I, I <laughs> definitely I want the resist all elements thing. That that's that's a hundred percent strength. Oh, always. I don't know, man. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, 
this is what I have. So the gloves, you can see the stats over here. You can pause the video at any time if you want to go into a little bit more details. Uh, these are the palm rounds. <laughs> so the chest piece, uh, the helmet. This is my necklace with the uh, legendary, uh, I forgot, legendary stone or how are those things called? Uh, legendary gem. There you go. All right, so legendary gem. I'm using the Taiguk, which basically gained 4.24 increased damage for 1.5 uh, seconds when you spend resource on chaining skill. This affects stocks up to 10 times. So basically, if you look at the bottom left corner, uh, and I'll stop spinning, and you'll see that sign appearing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So once we get to 10, we get all the benefits out of this legendary gem, which is additional damage and 2% increased armor for every stack. So that's additional, what, 20%? 61 million. There you go. And now this thing is going to drop, so boom. All right, so that's the, there's three of them I can use. So that's the first legendary gem uh, that I decided to go with. This is a must because the Wrath of Berserker gains the effect of every rune. And I try to be in this state at all times. And there's a ring that actually helps me to kind of get uh, the cooldown really fast, which is great. So basically, once I'm in that state, uh, I'm just like, God. <laughs> Alright, so the rings. Skull Gasp. I I still don't know which I'm going to replace it, but I think I'm going to replace it with the ring that allows me to drop one of the set pieces and still have the uh, still benefit from the full set. Not quite sure. But basically, this ring uh, just gives me additional 390% will win damage. And it has the stone, I mean, the legendary gem, uh, Molten Wild Little Beast. Bizarre. Oh my god, man. There's some crazy names in this game. Just break my tongue all the time. So basically, this is my more of a defensive gem. It uh, heals me uh, 66k life per second. And when I'm not under attack, it gives me the shield uh, for 200,000 of your total life per second. So that's my shield over here. You can You can see it glowing around my character right now. And I'm usually like, when I see that shield disappearing, I'm on like in focus mode not to die. Because, <laughs> I don't know, this this game is a little bit sensitive. Like sometimes I have this crazy uh, resistances. Everything is so good. And then all of a sudden my HP goes to the critical. I'm like, what the hell just hit me? Or what the hell happened? Uh, it might be the ranged units. I, I still think, couldn't, can't figure out what's hitting me that hard. I mean, seven. 1500 million defense and I still get hit that bad with a lot of uh, gems gone into resistance so all element of resistance those diamonds so it's crazy uh, the obsidian ring of the zodiac uh, this reduces the remaining cooldown of one of your skills by one second when you hit with a resource spending attack so since I'm always in this state I'm always hitting someone and uh, my uh, skill this one which requires 120 seconds usually refreshes maybe like in 15 seconds depending on how many units are around me and how many times I hit so that this is a, this ring I was so happy when I got it I, I finally I was able to uh, stay in this mode for a lot like pretty much all the time and uh, the legendary gem that I decided to go with is the Bane of the Sticken, which basically each attack you make against an enemy increases the damage it takes from your attacks by one point, well at the moment 1.06%. And uh, gain 25% increased damage against bosses and rift guardians. So this is cool. Uh, over here, I'm using this flask, but that's not something super important. The boots, uh, you can pause to view the attributes, but you might definitely have some different ones. Once again, the diamond gems for more protection, and I'm still thinking on what to do. And this thing, uh, while we're uh, basically, 
I have this sword over here, Ambo's Pride. Attacking with Whirlwind also applies rend, and the rend total uh, applies rend, and the total damage of rend is dealt over one second. This is my main hitter, and now with combination of this belt is even more. It does even more damage. The thing is, I'm, I'm still doubting if this actually adds up or not. But once I, when I removed the belt, I did feel the difference, but it was like kind of slight. I don't know, but I'm, I'm still trying to figure out this uh, adds up with that one. But I'm still, but I'm I'm definitely sure if you remove uh, this sword, <laughs> yeah, my damage is going down real bad. All right, so this is my inventory, and uh, let's move on with the skills. Alright, so for the skills, I'm using Leap uh, pretty much all the time. The cooldown is 5 seconds, and with the Rune Impact Iron, which gives me 150% additional armor for 4 seconds, uh, I scale my armor to its craziness. So without the uh, Berserker mode, with this ring, which adds another 80% damage reduction for 8 seconds when I'm using the Leap, right? Uh, if I remember correctly, with my full whirlwind buff and the jump, it should be a 770 million, something like that. Hmm, I'm missing out on something. Oh, wait. I lost the buff. Hold on, that's 10. And I make sure to jump all the time, so I have my defense on the up mode. If there are no enemies, I'm saving until I see the first enemy to hit. And boom. 600 million. Eh, I forgot to use my shout. Right. Uh, Warcry. Boom. Jump. There you go. 730 million. And when I'm in Berserker mode, that thing's... Uh, the Berserker mode from on its own, for some reason, gives me uh, 10 hundred million. <laughs> Actually, let me show you that right now. Boom. So Berserker mode. Bam, bam, bam. We got that thing rolling. Jump. Oh, it scaled even more now. <laughs> 1800 million. Sweet. <laughs> and essentially that also that Warcry also boosts my <clears throat> resistances, so my resistances are pretty high as well. Where is the defense thing? Defense, where you at? Ah, uh, there you go. Yeah, usually this thing is around 700 or something. So yeah. Resistance is very nice. All right, and by the way, the uh, Berserker really benefits from this one. Gain every single room. Uh, we'll see. We'll uh, get to it in a second. So whirlwind. Uh, by the way, over here, I'm, I plan to make a little change. Instead of this room, I'm, am I going to be using this one right here now? I totally forgot that after I got those two swords, my fury is kind of like all good. So <clears throat> am I even going to? get rid of this thing but I'm not sure I'll need to make a test uh, a few tests and see how it's gonna perform because I don't want to die uh, then we got the Warcry uh, shout uh, with the rune which gives me more uh, increased resistance to all elements by 20% while affected by Warcry then we've got the battle rage as well uh, which increases my damage by 15% and yeah that's that's a good one and we've got my threatening, threatening shout. Uh, enemies instead take 25% increased damage for six seconds. Uh, and berserker. So for the passives, I've got berserker rage, 25% additional damage while near maximum fury. We've got rampage, increased strength by 1% for eight seconds after killing or assist in killing an enemy. This stacks up 25 times. So do the math. That's crazy. <laughs> Uh, additional armor, I might gonna be switching this for a little bit more uh, for something else, maybe like, um, where is that? This one right here, which it will increase my damage. But at the moment I'll keep it as is because I'm focusing on survivability and getting my Paragon levels. Uh, so it will be a lot easier for me to do any other changes later on. And uh, this is my Nerves of Steel, my <clears throat> you can say, oh shit moment. <laughs> <clears throat> this thing uh, helps me not to die, and when I see it, man, I'm like in super, like, oh my god, like, 
G gotta go. <laughs> Boat. <laughs> Alright, so Paragon. Paragon Core, I started with Strength, and uh, then when I got over 100, I reset it and gave myself uh, that extra movement speed because uh, with, with the Whirlwind, I just run through this thing, come back, run through, and you know, basically I don't stay in one spot so I don't get blown up by some, I don't know, those magical spear, uh, sphere traps or whatever. Uh, those are very deadly, and I died a lot of times because I played other seasons as well. Uh, from those things and I'm like man I had enough I'm taking those resistances <laughs> screw this I don't want to die no more uh, then for the offense uh, first thing I went with is cooldown reduction then attack speed then critical chance and then I'm gonna go with the hit damage uh, for the defense I went with armor first resist all second and life regeneration then I'm gonna go with life uh, for the utility I went with the resource cost reduction life per hit uh, area damage and then uh, well, I'm gonna have to do that gold thingy and I'm um, gonna be focusing on my strength <clears throat> so the follower this this change this patch change for season 23 actually made me kind of to return but in whatever case I would still return to Diablo because man I just love this game I can't wait to uh, play the uh, remastered Diablo 2 and Diablo 4 those two these are two games I'm like please hurry up <laughs> All right, so like the most important here with this guy is this thing, Nemesis Bracers. So basically, everybody knows about this one, but there are those shrines that give you a buff, especially in Rift, right? And having this thing, it also spawns a pack of elites that you kill and you kind of like make your timer go even quicker. Uh, usually, I had to use it neither with within my cube or on my character, but uh, since we got this update, some of these uh, legendary effects, let's call them, they actually apply. But the thing is, with this dude, I'm actually going to be thinking of boosting his defense a lot more. And by the way, Magic Find is another cool thing that I want to have on this guy. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be boosting his defense because if he dies and you interact with that shrine, it, it, this will not work. So you will not uh, basically spawn the elite group. And for the helmet, by the way, I'm using him as well to farm the gems, um, which, by the way, reminds me I need to change the gem to another one because I already got all of all of the ones that I needed. So yeah, uh, unfortunately, I tested uh, like I gave him all of my Asian gear, and I gave him my ring, which had this effect over here. Unfortunately. They are still, I mean, this guy is still weak. He can't do damage for some reason. Hey, where's my ring? Uh oh. Did I, by mistake, get rid of it? Well, that's not going to be very nice. Oh, there you go. Legacy of Dreams. So basically, while you have no set bonuses equipped, every legendary item you have equipped increases your uh, del damage by 221% and reduces damage by 2% for so for each legend legendary. But if you got uh, the ancient items, that thing is even doubled. Actually, that's all cool. That's really nice. So I, I was using that before uh, I got all my set pieces. So yeah, I think I pretty much covered everything I tried to do it as fast as possible uh, because yeah because you know this video is gonna be super long <laughs> but anyway as I said I'm not a pro Diablo player uh, next video I'm gonna deliver within 85 100 rank depending on what changes if but definitely on uh, greater rift uh, 100 that's the next one we're gonna do and now this is where I'm going to be saying thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like. Comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them. Nobody can read them. Nobody can respond to them. So if you want your comments to be read, positive, negative feedback, whichever, feel free to comment. The only thing I ask of you is not to swear. Simple as that. If you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. So I have from Ukraine. If you want to join our Discord, the link is down in the video description along with any other links that you may find of use. And now we're going to go and do the Rift 70. But I will not be commenting. I'm going to be focusing on surviving. Let's pod.
And by the way, I did forget to mention one more thing over here. I just did it. I Before I use the Berserker, I make sure to make the jump so I can have my maximum defense and then make the transformation. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> but yeah, I do feel that I think I'm gonna be have to sacr oh I need to go I need to go spend some. Sacrificing my uh defense for extra damage because usually those things go down in seconds but now they're not. Let's see what I got real quick before we end this video. Maybe if we get some primal I'll be very happy and a good way to end the video. <laughs> Uh, no. And by the way, why do people say that this is some OP and super rare sword? I, I couldn't figure it out. I mean, I've used it, but I didn't find anything OP about it. If you know why, could you please do comment down below? Crown Stomp causes a... Ooh, that's good. So, I might even gonna change my leap to Ground Stomp. <laughs> we'll see. Furious Charge, okay. Some new ones. Okay, there's a few I want to keep, and... Most of them I'm gonna get rid of. And let's uh, gamble a little bit before we end the video. Let's go. That is too expensive. Oh, that sucks. I didn't get anything good. 
can. Oh, I'm out of resources. <laughs> Lol. Alright, folks. This is where I'm going to be calling in the end. Thanks all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And you know the drill. I'm getting it down there. See you later. From the ashes we rose.